Do you like to shave? Do you have to shave? Do you have sensitive skin? Are you traveling? Are you in the Treasure Island Casino in Las Vegas? Go buy one of these. Let's shave with this today. Barbasol Sensitive Skin. Now you guys know I always use this. I don't have to say it. Always. But I had never used, I don't think, did I? Maybe I did. The Sensitive Skin version. So I'm going to shave with that today and I'm going to use a couple of old friends over here on the counter, which I haven't used in a long time. Old Grandpa Grungy, the 1960 Gillette Fat Boy. I haven't used this in so long that when I twisted it to open, it kind of stuck for a second. It's like, so I need to clean this. I need to put some oil on it. I need to show them some love. And for 2022, we'll clean them up just a little bit. Not too much. You want to be able to recognize them when you see them, right? Grandpa Grungy with a feather blade in it. I've already used once. Let's put it on seven because that's just the way I do it. That's the way I've always done it. Tighten it down. Let's go. And then the aftershave. It's just... No, it's Osage rub. Spoiler alert! All right, I took a shower, I did my hair. I didn't shave yesterday, I just used uh, my uh, electric razor. <laughs> Notice I said I didn't shave, I used my electric razor. Um, yeah, I shaved, but not to my satisfaction. Shake this sucker up. Look at, oh, they put a different little top on, look at this. So the top, you know, is like that, but I think before, Oh gosh, the, the cap is full of dried Barbasol. Clean it out. All right, let's do it. I keep like showing you this thing. You can get a pretty, pretty good amount of shaves from one of these little travel sizes. Okay, let's talk about the scent. I've gotta be honest with you. I'm not a huge fan of the scent of the sensitive skin. The sensitive skin Barbasol. It's not my favorite. It smells slightly floral. It smells clean, it smells a little bit dry. I don't know, it's just not my thing. I prefer the original. That's all right. I'm sure you like it, somebody out there likes it. All right, here we go, let's shave. So Christmas time is upon us. We uh, are traveling to Pennsylvania for a few days. The kids and the wife will go up there. Her parents live up there, and then I'll show up for a couple of days. I won't be there as long as they will, because i got to go back to work. But that should be fun. I met a man in Tennessee, and he was headed for Pennsylvania and some homemade pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie! I don't know if I'll have any pumpkin pie, but I guarantee I'm going to a Wawa when I'm up there. You know I got to have my Wawa. For a second there, I almost said, I wish we had Wawa's down here, but I'm glad we don't, because then it wouldn't be special anymore when I visit. And I know it's just a convenience store, but it's not just a convenience store. It's a way of life. <laughs> they make great subs, or Hagies. They make great Hagies over there at the Wawa. Sorry for all you Pennsylvanians. I always have to trot out that terrible accent of mine. Now, I do have a little bit of a, a an ingrown hair or a plug pore right there that I need to take care of. And I was kind of looking at it before I started shaving, but I didn't want to, you know, cut myself accidentally <laughs> trying to trying to clean myself up. But I'm going to test it later. But So if I get a little nick or anything, it's going to happen right here. That I can guarantee you. So I'm going to try to go slower this time because the last few times... I've been going so fast and I've been nicking myself, even with the razors that don't normally nick me, like the like the Rockwell, but fat guy. Fat guy. <laughs> fat guy here. Old Grandpa Grungy, he always nicks me up. So I'm gonna try to just go nice and easy. Nice and easy does it every time. I already got one little nick right there, but that's okay. Can't be 100% clean and clear, can you? I don't know. Mmm. Yeah, so the uh, the sensitive skin Barbasol. I'm not sure why it's sensitive or what makes it, you know, different than the, the other brands they sell. But it's not my favorite scent. Maybe that's why I don't use it. I think, do I have it? I keep some shaving... Uh, equipment at my mom's house. 
so I don't have to pack everything. You know, I got like razors there. Let's go for a second pass, just a teeny bit. It's hard sometimes with these travel ones to only get a little bit of uh, shaving cream out because it just all wants to come out at one time. There's the first pass. Now lather up for the second one. Anyway, I, I may have some of this stuff there. Or maybe might be the purple one. What's the purple one? I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> I just breathed in spit, not Barbasol. <coughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Woo, don't call the EMTs, I'm okay. All right, second pass, cross the green. All right. I'll tell you what, if you're in Austin on New Year's Eve <clears throat> and you want something to do, my little weekly uh, Beetle Bash group is uh, playing New Year's Eve at New World Deli. So if you live around here and you want to come see, I think it's 50 bucks to get in, which is, that's why I don't go out on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Unless I'm getting paid to do so and I get to play music and sing Beatles songs, then I'll go out. So if you want to come see us, should be a fun affair. It's like 8.30 to 12.30, something like that. New World Deli in Austin. We're going to have a website up soon, thebeetlebash.com, but we haven't done anything. I just purchased the URL. Why? I don't know. It's only 10 bucks. Don't go there now. There won't be anything. I'll let you know. If you live in the area, that is. Yeah, I just got that one nick so far. And the little bit of redness from me messing with my, picking at my skin, which I shouldn't have done. I need to get one of those Biore strips, you know? All those things gross me out. You know what I'm talking about, where you stick it on your nose and it takes out, oh. Ugh. I have that phobia of repeating hole patterns. You know what I'm talking about? It's not a phobia. It's like a thing. It just creeps me out. Repeating hole patterns. There's a word for it. Please don't put it down in the... Because I don't want people to Google it and look at these things and make me go, ugh. But there is something. It just creeps me out. All right. Not everything. Like a honeycomb. That's okay. <laughs> repeating holes. Okay. Second pass. I'm doing pretty well. It's very smooth. This is... Uh, Grandpa Grungy is a great razor. The, the the fat boys are great razors if you get one that's in decent shape, you know, not all bent up and broken. They're not worth $150 each, that's for sure, too. Don't don't spend that much. It's too much. Just wait around. And every now and then you'll get a steal because somebody will put it up on eBay and they won't know what they've got, you know. All right. Third pass. You know, F, as I use it, um, I don't... Oh, interesting. So it says uh, aloe, thyme, papaya, willow bark, and a light fragrance. And that's what I was going to say. The fragrance is very light, even though it's not my favorite. It's not a real noticeable overpowering thing. So even now, I've kind of grown smell blind to it almost, you know? Kind of like you can't smell your own cologne anymore or the stench in your house. <laughs> You've seen those commercials here in the States. Ooh, it, you know what? I just caught a little whiff of myself, and I, it's all right. It's all right. It's not bad. Here's a thumbnail for you. <laughs> I'm going to superimpose an eyeball on my palm. Whoa, how did he do it? Now it's gone. It was clean a second ago. Okay, third pass. This is where I got to watch out for nicks, especially down here. Slow and easy. There's not as much. I could dial it down. You can do that if you want to. I choose not to, just because I like to... Not do that. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, it always feels good to me after I've uh, neglected my shaving duties for a day or two to really get in there and just get super clean. I'm not going to go crazy today. Like, sometimes, some days I'm, like, super crazy about it. I have started pulling my skin more as I'm doing my neck because I always have little trouble spots that I got to get on the, you know, third and a half pass. But I find if I do this, it kind of helps. At least I think it does. 
I'm not doing any scientific research, but I can kind of tell. <laughs> I think. You know, we humans have an incredible, incredible ability to fool ourselves. And I've been trying to battle that my whole life. I'm still doing the intermittent fasting. Somebody noticed, they said, hey, I watched a video of you from like 10 months ago and you really have lost weight. And it's true, I'm still doing that thing. Started May 3rd. I remember because it was right before Star Wars Day, May 4th. And uh, I, I think I've lost about 40 pounds or so, give or take. I, I weighed myself once like last year, or you know, not too long before I did this. And I can't remember if I weighed 230 or 220. I think it was 230. That's pretty, for me, that's, that's far too big for me. And now I weigh about 185. And I'm still going. Because there's still a couple of pairs of pants. Especially beetle. I have beetle suits from when I was 31. Go to beetlesuits.com if you want to check that out. That I can't quite fit into. I can fit into the jacket again, but not the pants because they're real tight. Those trousers the Beatles wore. The trousers. I think it was the trousers. They're very tight. Leave nothing to the imagination. Outlines, everything. <laughs> Sorry, that's the Ruddles. A quote from the Ruddles. And we're resurrecting my, uh, my Ruddles band, or a new Ruddles band. We're starting a new Ruddles band. You know who the Ruddles are? Google it. Okay. Woo! Oh, dang it. Oh, I got away with, like, minimum nickage today. That tiny one there. And that's kind of... That, that's good enough. That's good enough. All right, let's... You know what's funny? Like One of the last times... Uh, I think I was using the, 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 the shave logic. I totally forgot to use aftershave. I didn't realize it until I watched the video, and then people started commenting, Hey, the aftershave is like... Duh. Of course, I forgot the dang aftershave. Ah, oh, you get the idea. That was more about the razor than the aftershave. And I know at the end of that video, I still had like shaving cream on this ear and it bugs me. So I just won't watch that video. Not that I ever really watch any of my videos, mind you. Okay. Thank you, Grandpa Grungy. Take the, uh, this is what I do when I'm done. Because I'm not going to use him for the next year. Probably I lay it, you know, I sit him right on the end. Him. So, uh. So that he dries off. And then I put the razor blades in. Now this is the second shave. I get four or five out of these. So I just lay it across the handles of the razors. Let it dry too. Okay. Now. Man, it has been so long since I used this. This is the same bottle I've always had. And I'm just now down to there. Because I've gotten, you know, so many other things I've started trying. Okay. Ah. Uh. Mm, you know, a little red spot. It's bugging me. It's bugging me, you know what I mean? You keep looking at it. <laughs> no, me, I'm looking, not you. All right, here we go. Osage Rub, if you've never used this stuff. It's highly mentholated. It's alcohol-based. It's invigorating for the head and face. All right, let's put some on here, shall we? Not that much. Ooh, lost some. Mmm. Oh, ooh. Kind of hurt my ear there. I slapped my ear instead of my face. Thank you, Osage Rub. Back down into the drawer you go. Clean as you go. Clean as you shave. If you look down here, I've already wiped the sink down. You didn't even know it. I've already put that away. The only thing out left is this. And I'm going to put that right in here. Put it in my travel bag for next time. So that's it, folks. Just a kind of a chat, hangout, shave. Nothing new. Nothing to show you. Just uh, New uh, New Year's Eve, if you're in Austin, come see us. New World Deli. The Beetle Bash. It's going to be fun, loosey-goosey, nothing too much. But it does cost money to get it. There'll be lots of free food hors d'oeuvres and a champagne toast. That means you pour champagne all over a piece of toast and you eat it. Right? <laughs> Before I get myself in any more trouble, I want to say thank you. Have a great weekend. Leave a comment if you want. And I'll see you all next week.